Hello, everyone. It's me again. Once again, sincere thanks for your time. Today, I'd like to continue on our discussion on receiver system. To be more specific, super hydrotype receiver system. For this video, I'm going to explain what is the difference between low side injection and high side injection. Basically, this low side injection and high side injection actually take place at the mixer. So for this video, I'm going to explain the role of a mixer. This will be the part 3 series discussion on the receiver system, the part 1 and part 2 discussion on super hydrodite receiver. I have put the video link under the description. So please go through that two video if you're keen to know more about super hydrodite receiver. This is my email. If you have any question regards on today's discussion, please drop me an email. Before I continue, I'd like to urge you guys to support this channel by pressing the like and subscribe button. Please also turn on your notification bell in order to receive more information from this channel. Once again, sincere thanks for your strong support. Like I mentioned earlier on, Low side injection and high side injection actually take place at the mixer. So let's quickly discuss on the role of a mixer in a receiver. The main purpose of mixer in a receiver is to down convert the selected RF signal, FRF, to a intermediate frequency, IF signal at FIF, which means that the role of mixer in a receiver is to convert the high frequency to a low frequency. So from here, I conclude that FRF has a higher frequency as compared to FIF. So this is the role of a mixer. The IF frequency is of a single fixed frequency value, which means that this FIF is actually a fixed frequency. They do not vary. FRF and FLO, they vary. But FIF, the frequency is actually fixed. For example, for a AM broadcast, FIF is actually equals to 455 kilohertz. For FM broadcast, FIF is equals to 10.7 megahertz. So this is what you mean. The frequency here remain intact regardless what you actually want to receive. Let me give you an example. For example, in Singapore, Let's assume this is a FM receiver. In Singapore, we have this class 95, okay, which happened to broadcast at 95 megahertz. So in order to listen to this DJ at class 95, I need to tune my FRF to at the center frequency of 95 megahertz with the help of FLO and also the pre-selector earlier on. So basically FLO and together with the pre-selector, they actually select the frequency center at 95 megahertz to reach my FRF. So this is the role of a mixer now. The mixer actually convert the high frequency to a lower frequency. Okay, remember, this is class 95, which happened at 95 megahertz. They basically, for AFM broadcast, they basically down convert them to 10.7 megahertz. So therefore, I will be able to hear the voice of a DJ at class 95. So this gives you some idea. In Singapore, we have another station, for example, we have this Chinese station, which is ES933, which happened at 93.3 megahertz. For example, now I want to listen to this ES933, the radio broadcast. Okay, then again, with the help of FLO and pre-selector, okay, this signal center at 93.3 megahertz will be able to arrive at FRF. And the role of a mixer, again, is to count, convert the high frequency to a lower frequency. Remember, the FIF has a fixed frequency value, which is 10.7 megahertz. So basically, from here, I basically convert the DJ at ES933 to a lower frequency, and therefore, I will be able to listen to ES933 in this case here. Let me just give you some idea why we need to have this mixer. For example, if I don't have this mixer to down convert 
from a high frequency to a low frequency. If I, let's say, if I'm able to listen direct to 93.3 megahertz, okay, so what happened here is basically, I need to have deeper receiver. Can you imagine? I need to have deeper receiver in order to listen to the different radio broadcast. Okay, for example, if, if I want to listen to class 95, then I need to buy one receiver that is tuned to class 95. And if I want to listen to yes 93, then I need to buy another receiver to listen to 93.3. But with mixer, they basically convert whatever station that you want to listen, they basically convert to a fixed frequency value. And basically the rest of them actually all fine tune or optimized at 10.7 megahertz. And therefore you will be able to listen whatever radio broadcast that you want to listen. So this is the key purpose of a mixer. Basically, the value at FIF here is actually fixed. Okay, FRF together with the help of FLO and the pre-selector, they basically select what frequency that you want to listen, for example, for this case here. And basically, they down convert to the same fixed frequency. And hence, you will be able to listen whatever radio broadcast that you want to listen at. So this is the key purpose of a mixer. During the RF to IF frequency translation, the original information shape and bandwidth remain unchanged. You can see from here, the shape, okay, they remain unchanged. The bandwidth, again, they remain unchanged. The key purpose of mixer is just to convert the high frequency to a low frequency in a receiver. So this gives you some idea, the key role of a mixer before we start on the low side and high side injection. Now with a better idea of a mixer, we can do a quick discussion on low or high side injection. For frequency down conversion in a receiver, we are interested in the different term at the output of the mixer. Okay, for example, this is the term that we are keen one, and this is another term that we are keen to receive also, either one, not both but we just need to receive either one. So this is where we have this low side injection and high side injection. Let's take a quick look. What is low side injection and high side injection? For low side injection, when FLO is lower in frequency than the desired RF. So when LO is actually lower than RF, this is what we call a low side injection. As for high side injection, FLO is actually higher in frequency than the desired RF. So this is what we call a high side injection. Maybe I just want to share how I remember this low side injection and also high side injection. So for example, for my case here, I have this unique way to memorize or remember. Okay, for example, I will compare LO and RF. Okay, I will compare these two terms. I look at the position of LO. If it's happened at a low, lower frequency, so therefore I know this is called low side injection. Okay, remember, I said this again. I compare LO and RF. I compare these two terms. I look at the position of LO. If LO is at lower frequency, so I know this is low side injection. As for high side injection, it's the same thing. For example, I compare RF and LO. I look at the position of LO. It's at higher frequency. So therefore, I know that this is high side injection. Okay, hopefully this gives you some idea how you can actually remember whether is it low side injection or high side injection. In short, just take a look on two position RF and LO. Look at the location of LO, whether is it at high or whether is it at low. So basically, if it's at low, we call this low side injection. If it's a higher frequency, we call this high side injection. You probably have your own idea how to remember low or high side injection. I just give you some suggestion how I actually remember this low or high side injection. Image frequency. An image frequency, FIF, is any other frequency than the selected RF carrier that if allowed to get past the RF stage to the mixer will produce at the mixer output another frequency that is also equal to the intermediate frequency FIF. So what does this mean? Okay, so this is basically the diagram at the output of the mixer. This is so-called fixed. Nothing can change on this. So 
basically right in the middle will be FLO, basically will flank on both sides, separate by FIF. Either one of them will be RF, another one will be the image. So either one, based on a different scenario. For example, for this case here, it's a low side injection. Okay, so what does low side injection? Can you still remember I compare my RF and LO? And LO need to be at lower frequency. So therefore, this is called low side injection. So from here, I conclude that this will be my RF. If RF is here, I compare. FLO is at lower position. So therefore, I know this is a low side injection. So from here, I conclude that this is FRF. And on the other side is actually the image frequency. So you can see from here, the image is also separate exactly FIF with the FLO, which means that they actually can be superimposed because they are both separate from FLO at the same frequency of FIF. As for high side injection, it's the same thing here. Here you can see from this high side injection, basically you compare these two terms. Okay, so FLO is of higher frequency. So therefore, I know that this is high side injection. So if I know that FRF is on my left, so therefore my image will be on my right. Okay, so this is explained on low side injection and high side injection. How to obtain my image frequency? Okay, for this case here, I can use this FLO minus FIF. I actually have my image. Or another case here, I can use my FRF minus two times the FIF. I also supposed to have my image frequency also. For the high side injection is the same thing. How can I find the value of image frequency? For example, I can use FLO plus FIF. I actually can find my image frequency. If not, I can use this FRF plus two times my FIF, which is mentioned here. Again, from here, I will be able to find my image frequency. Let's take a look on the example in order to understand this better. An AM super hydrodrive receiver use high side injection. Okay, so this is high side injection with a IF of 455 kilohertz. Okay, so firstly you draw this thing here. So this thing, like what I mentioned, is fixed. FLO right in the middle, flanked by two things separate by FIF. So now I need to determine where is my FRF. So this is high side injection. Hey, remember, I need to compare FRF and FLO and FLO need to be at higher frequency. So from here, I conclude that my FRF supposed to be on my left and my image is on my right. So with this, I'm ready to find what is actually required by the question. Firstly, the question asks, what is my FLO if my FRF is equal to 1000 kilohertz? So the question given to me, this is 1000 kilohertz. For AM, I know that FIF is actually equal to 455 kilohertz, which I have written here. So the first thing that I need to task to find is my FLO here. So how can I find my FLO will be simply FRF plus FIF, correct? So this is how I can find my FLO, FRF plus FIF, which is 1000 kilohertz plus 455 kilohertz, which give me 1455 kilohertz. The question also tasks me to find my image frequency. So how can I find my image frequency? Either I can do this as I explained earlier on. In my image, I can use FRF plus two times FIF, which is mentioned here. If not, I use my FLO plus one FIF. I also supposed to be able to find my image frequency. So I leave it to you. For my this case here, I just use FLO okay, plus FIF, which result my image frequency at 1910 kilohertz. With this, I like to stop my discussion. Please help to like and subscribe. Once again, sincere thanks for your time. Thank you so much.